Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be reading a math theme book called More or Less a Mess. And this book has to do with sorting and classifying different objects. And so that at the end of the book, we are going to do a little activity with that. So here we go. More or Less a Mess. At the top of the stairs at the end of the hall is a room that you don't want to peek in at all. I got out of there fast, just as fast as can be. Then I heard my mom call, clean your room. She meant me. Oh boy. Oh, look at that room. I went back to my room and opened the door. I could not see my bed. I could not see the floor. Sounds like my kid's room. There were pants on the dresser and shirts on the lamp. There were socks in the fishbowl that looked pretty damp. There were shoes in my dollhouse and blocks on my bunny. And what's in my lunchbox? It smells really funny. Who knows what she left in there? Have you ever left something in your lunchbox? Mm. Where should I start? Where, what should I do? I had to clean up. Sort things out, think things through. The first thing I tried was one really big pile. My room looked much neater, but just for a while. I've seen a pile like that in my kid's room. Did you guys ever pile up your toys to make it clean? Let's see what happens. The tall pile toppled, it made a new mess. Things fell on both sides of my room, more or less. I evened things out. I moved stuff aside, but then I was trapped. The piles too wide. Oh. I spotted my poster. It gave me a clue. So I sorted by color, then found this odd shoe. Look at her poster. It's a rainbow. And it gave her the idea to sort by color. And then she found an odd shoe. What's she going to do? What is she going to do? I wonder. I threw down that shoe. I was ready to quit. Then I saw the shoe bounce and land right in my mitt. Now I saw clearly what I had to do. Sort the toys from the, from the clothes. It's all clean. I'm all through. So she put toys in one pile, clothes in another pile. Awesome, pretty smart. I whistled a tune as I went for the door, but then I stopped short. What's this stuff on the floor? A fishbowl, a lunchbox, my homework and more. Not things that I played with, not things that I wore. Oh, they didn't fit in to her piles. She had to think of a new way to classify or sort the items. I picked up my homework and put it in a book. There was something stuck inside, so I took a look. Ooh, it says flea market, big sale this spring. Ooh, big sale. Have you ever been to a flea market? Or a yard sale? Here we go. A big sale? That was it. I'd get rid of some stuff and then cleaning my room would be quite, wouldn't be quite so tough. I wrote like on a box. My good stuff goes inside there and everything else I can sell or can share. So she's going to keep stuff she likes in one place and stuff she wants to sell or share in another. That's a great idea. I should do that in my house. But this box did not work. It did not hold enough. I like all my toys, all my clothes, all my stuff. I heard my mom coming. I had to move fast. Away went the box. Oh boy. I had cleaned up at last. Where do you think all of her stuff is now? Oh no. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to a room in your house or anywhere in your house. You could start in your own room or in a playroom. Right now, 
I'm in my daughter's room. And I want you to think of some ways to classify things. For example, one of her first ideas was color. So I might take Pikachu here and I'm gonna find a pile of things that are yellow. Um, another thing I could sort by, Kira's room. Oh, this pillow, it sparkles. So I want to classify or sort things into piles that sparkle. I could do sparkle or don't sparkle, okay? Um, I could even, let's see this guy behind me. Oh my goodness. I could use the color gray. I could use things that have a tail. All of those things could work. So I want you to go to your room and I want you to find piles of things that match. And then I want you to show your mom and dad how you classified your toys. Look, I found another yellow one.